The Arizona State Senate passed a bill that mirrors a Mississippi abortion bill that the U.S. Supreme Court is reviewing. This is just one of several different bills currently in the state legislature that would restrict abortion access in Arizona. Cronkite News reporter Madison Thomas speaks to people on both sides of the issue. This is the right thing to do to protect women. And it's obviously the right thing to do to, do to protect the unborn. State Senator Nancy Bardo's bill, SB 1164, prohibits abortions after 15 weeks, except for a medical emergency. But there are not any exceptions for incest or rape. It provides a desire to control women. Control women. That's what this bill does. The bill would make it a crime for doctors to perform abortions after 15 weeks and they could face a class 6 felony and lose their medical license. If there is a violation of law, it will be reported and there will be uh, criminal uh, investigations and follow up and there will be uh, arrests made but it, it certainly won't be uh, uh, bursting in on a, a on an abortion clinic. Roe v. Wade was the 1973 Supreme Court case that granted the constitutional right to an abortion. But a Mississippi bill similar to SB 1164 is challenging the ruling. Currently, states cannot ban abortion procedures before fetal viability. This is a blatantly unconstitutional proposal that we are debating right now. The Supreme Court is expected to make their decision this summer, but anticipation of the decision has already begun. We are preparing as Planned Parenthood Arizona uh, for how we can assist patients in the coming months and going into the summer where abortion may be illegal in the state of Arizona, depending on the Supreme Court's decision. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, abortion rights would be a state decision. It's not um, a good outlook in the state of Arizona when it comes to our legislature and when it comes to our current governor, who has been a very adamant um, anti-abortion uh, elected official. Cindy Dahlgren, who is the communications director for the Center for Arizona Policy, says the stricter abortion limits protect both mothers and the unborn baby. However, Murphy Bannerman says that won't be the case. They will go to, you know, unsafe um, practitioners and will try to uh, self-manage their own abortion, which can lead to multiple complications. In Phoenix, Madison Thomas, Cronkite News. The bill now heads to the House of Representatives. If passed, it's not clear whether Governor Doug Ducey will sign it. In the past, he's told the Arizona Republic that he supports exceptions for life of the mother, rape, and incest. Those are not included in the bill.